James with Texted Life here with a freeze-dried guide on Carmel m &Ms. Check it out. Let's start with getting the machine set up. We set the initial freeze to 0 degrees, the dry temp to 135 degrees, and the extra dry time to at least 4 hours. I like to do additional time in case I need to run it overnight. Caramel M&Ms are super simple. We just pour them onto the tray. I would use a silicone mat or parchment paper so that the chocolate doesn't melt all over the tray. Probably only fill these up 70 or 80% because they will expand pretty big. I'm spreading these out to show on camera, but realistically you want to wait until you put them in the machine to do this. They are going to roll around when you pick the tray up. Enable candy mode and skip tray warming. Caramel has a tendency to expand too much when pre-warmed. These should expand a lot to fill out the tray and they may even stick together. We didn't record this on the video, but we put these in the fridge for 10 or 15 minutes after we pulled them out of the machine because the chocolate gets pretty melty. The fridge helps the chocolate firm back up. I am moving these by hand so that I can gently squeeze them in my hand to break them apart if any of them are stuck together. Caramel M&Ms are pretty unique when it comes to freeze drying M&Ms. Chocolate doesn't freeze dry, so normal ones are out. Oily foods don't expand either, so the peanuts and peanut butter varieties also don't work. There are some more other uncommon varieties and seasonal ones that may or may not work. Be sure to check out the channel to see if we can make those ones or not. It is really nice to have that novel chocolatey crunch of the M&M on the outside and that airy light crunch of the caramel in the middle. If you've never tried these, I'd definitely recommend giving it a shot. We are storing these in mason jars for more long-term storage, but if you do store these in a sellable package, I would recommend getting some deli containers or something. All in all, I would say that they are pretty fragile, so they would not hold up in a Mylar bag for very long. If you're planning to sell these at outdoor events, keep in mind that the chocolate melts really easily. You'll need to find a way to keep them cold. Chocolate also tends to turn white or bloom a few weeks after freeze drying. It doesn't hurt anything, but it doesn't look as nice. You may want to do these as close to your event as possible. That's really all there is to freeze drying caramel M&Ms. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more awesome freeze dried guides. See you next time.